Hey y'all, uh, Smitty here. Um, this is this is gonna be the last video that I'm gonna do, basically addressing this whole entire, you know, discrepancy thing when you talk about energy and uh, I mean, excuse me, the fatigue factor and injuries being implemented into the sports game, or it makes it sim or it makes it arcade or what have you, and seeing how Versus was so adamant about what you know in terms of it being represented in terms of sim he goes as far as pulling out textbook definition so by all means I pose this challenge to him as well as to anyone else how can you honestly depict simulation between humans in, in sports how can you honestly depict it in sports science they depict it in a controlled environment in a controlled environment where it's just the athlete by themselves you can't honestly depict the interaction on the field as it's happening because your data will be skewed all over the place and there will be misrepresentations all over the place and then therefore everyone will be complaining that it's not real you know what I'm saying so like my thing is this if you're going to represent that how would you honestly measure it because you have instances where if you look at like for for example basketball you had you had Kobe Bryant who had injured his shoulder a few years back that 04 season when he was supposedly uh he was supposed to get uh shoulder surgery and he was supposed to be out for months or what have you that the 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 doctors had speculated he'd be out for months he was only gone for two games and came right back and he played throughout the whole season you know what I'm saying and also he's had games where he's played the entire game he's played the entire game and he was hitting shot after shot and he was playing he was playing as just as fresh as he were when he first walked onto the court at the beginning of it same thing with Michael Jordan and many other players so how would you honestly measure that in terms of a sim you can't and if you play NBA 2k when your players fatigue even if he's hot there are times where he'll be he'll be missing all kinds of shots and he'll go completely cold. You can't honestly represent it. That's the thing. You cannot honestly represent it. You can try, but you can't. That's why I say you can't put a numerical value on that because there are X factors that aren't measured. Like a player's will. You know, you can't measure the will. Their desire. You know what I'm saying? Their determination. You know, like the mental the mental scheme. The mental schematic of a human being, especially when it comes to an athletic mindset, is completely different. And you cannot truly measure it when they're on the court or on the field. Now, just to compare, you know, and, and that's what I'm saying, that's in terms of a, of, of a injury slash fatigue type situation. You know what I'm saying? Now, in terms of an injury, another factor, you have to factor in age. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you can't truly represent that either. Let's just say, for example, let's say let's just take three players across sports here. Let's say recently retired uh, Kurt Warner, okay? And, and he's like he was like in his late thirties or what have you. And then you take Amari Stoudemire, who he's in his twenties, and you take Brandon Jennings, new rookie. Now let's say they all, let's say before Kurt Warner retired or whatever, he had an ACL tear. Let's say, let's say if, they, if they all had an ACL tear and they all happened the exact same way, the, 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 the acute way the injury happened all happened the same way for them. Does that automatic, now would that automatically mean that their, their recovery time is all going to be the exact same? No. Kurt Warner may heal before Amari or Brandon Jennings. At the same time, it could be vice versa. You don't know. It, 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 number one, it comes into number one conditioning comes into comes into the factor. Uh, you have to factor in once again, like I said, the human will. You have to factor in confidence because they have to develop confidence to number one realize the fact that they had a serious injury and what it's going to impact in terms of their career. Number two. The drive, they have to have the desire and drive and, and mentally push themselves to be able to go to rehab, get themselves back into, get, get the confidence so they're able to, to walk 
no, walk on that and put pressure on that on that knee, put pressure on that same leg, and then be able to go from therapy to actually taking practice snaps or or running up and down the court in and you know on the basketball court or whatever, and then in terms of actually to actually put strapping on the pads and playing. And then not just not just playing at that level, not just playing, you know, with your teammates, but then playing in actual games and performing to the level of expectation that everybody has. Not just yourself, but what the organization has for you too. Those are all kinds of things that take it to a human element when they go down with a serious injury. Can you honestly depict all those things in, in a in a in a uh, in a sports simulated game? No, you can't. You cannot do that because once again, your data will be skewed. They'll be they're like like they could all go down from the same injury. Brandon Jennings' career could be completely over. Amari Sotomayor could come back and never be the same guy. And Kurt Warner could come back and be completely healed and play and play like nothing ever happened. And he's the older of all of all the players. The thing is, it's not saying that that's exactly how it would happen, but it's possible. And like I said, that's that's taking into into account that all three players had the injury happen the exact same way. So what I'm saying is, if you're honestly going to depict that kind of factor or variable in terms of a sports game, that's something that would be virtually impossible. You would not be able to do it. But that's why I'm posing a challenge. I'm posing the challenge to everyone, I'm posing the challenge to Versus and the whole entire YouTube community. If you believe in your heart of hearts that that's, that, that can be done, then by all means, go ahead and show it. I don't want you to sit in front of a camera and sitting there just talking, talking, talking and saying it or whatever. Show. Show exactly how it would be done. You know what I'm saying? Prove it. I came out with my joints. I'm like, I came out with my videos and I've shown you actual footage. I've shown you how Arcade and Sim are completely two different planes altogether. But yet and still you want to come out and say it's all the same? Okay, then show it. That's all I need you to do. Prove the example, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's like I said, it's not just for verses. That's for the whole entire YouTube community. By all means. Show how simulation would be truly represented in terms of the, and when you add those factors in. And then, you know what I'm saying, you, you have, you have everything else to factor in as well. So, I mean, it's, that's, that's something that's impossible to me. And that's why I say, and I will hold true to it, it's my opinion, you know what I'm saying. I mean, everybody, everybody has, everybody's entitled to their own thought process. That's perfectly fine. But in my opinion, I believe that you just cannot honestly represent with a numerical value you do not do that like you know what i'm saying like you do not do that oh i'm just gonna pause it here you honestly cannot if you were playing collegiate football or basketball or in the nfl you take foot you take football at any level do you see do you see coaches on the sideline saying okay the quarterback's a 67 when it comes to his his pass accuracy so you know what what we're gonna do is this no, people aren't looking at that. You don't measure it. You don't, you're not, these people are not measuring that. When people draft players, just like I said before, they're not saying, okay, you know what? He's an 86. He's an 86 speed. Yeah, that's the kind of guy we need. No. No, that's not what they do. They go by their ability and they show it. They, they go by what they do when they do their, their, uh, their drills in the, in the, in the uh, camps or what have you, in the pre-draft camps. And then they look at the footage and see what they actually did in game activity. And they make a guess and say that's the guy we need. According to the ability that he has. They don't go by no numerical rating put put out by EA Sports or 2K Sports. They go by abilities. That's how players are measured. And that's my thought on it. By all means, like I said, it's open. Anyone come out and just prove it otherwise. So this is your boy Smitty signing out. Peace.